Hey everyone, Tim here, doing another tutorial today. This is on something a bit more special, and uh, although it's very simple, it's uh, quite different, pretty cool. And as you can see, this is a uh, paracord bracelet, but not just any run-of-the-mill paracord bracelet, it actually lights up. Isn't that neat, huh? So, um, yeah, as you can tell, this is the Cobra Stitch, so if you know how to do the Cobra Stitch, it's pretty much a no-brainer on how to do this one. The only special thing you'll need is this um, light-up bracelet, which I'll tell you about in a second. And uh, yeah, really interesting, really fun to wear. Would make a great um, accessory if you're going camping at night or maybe even to a concert or something. That'd be fun. Yeah, so let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I've got my paracord ready. I've got my flash band here. And uh, this is what the flash bands look like in their package. These are very cheap. Uh, you can get them at Walmart. Um, I know the Walmarts in the States have them. I live in Canada, so the Walmarts here didn't really have any. So I actually ordered these online. But they're very affordable. You know, they're Chinese made, so they're very cheap. And um, yeah, the way they work is uh, they have a replaceable battery in this sort of a closure area here. And it's a simple, easy snap closure, as they call it. Yep, so that's what you can look out for. And keep in mind, these bracelets aren't exactly very large in diameter. Um, the plastic part here is actually only six inches or so, six and a half, because, you know, these are, you know, a children's toy. And um, if you find you have a larger wrist and you want to wear one of these, you may have to gut your paracord. Otherwise, it may become too thick and you won't be able to fit it on. But again, yeah, here is what the bracelet looks like. As I showed you earlier, there's different modes. There's flashing, almost fast, faster flash, and a continuous mode. So it's pretty cool, nice and bright. All right. So uh, as I mentioned, this was about six and a half inches. So I've got about I think I've measured about seven seven feet, six and a half feet of paracord. I'm actually using the uh, glow in the dark paracord because I thought um, that'd be kind of cool because the bracelet could uh, charge up the glow-in-the-dark paracord and then um, you know when, you, when it's off it would still continue to glow and um, of course you can experiment with different um, color combinations and whatnot so big surprise we're doing the Cobra Stitch uh, for those of you who are familiar with the Cobra Stitch you can probably skip this part um, but for those of you who aren't uh, familiar with it you can just quickly go through it again so I've got my piece of paracord, I've doubled it over, and I found the middle, okay? And then I'm going to put that behind the plastic part here. And then, as we've done so many times before, we're going to, uh, you can start with whichever side you want. I'm going to start with this right side here. I'll put that over the top, or over the front here. I'll put the left one behind like that. And then I'm going to put this one through the loop here. Like that. We've got our first weave. There we go. And then again, whichever side has this loop facing up and down, you want to take that side, put it over. Again, you can do the same thing, just mirrored like that. And put it behind and tuck. So this will, as you can see, it slides around a bit because it's plastic, but not a big deal, the more you put on, the more it'll stay on. Okay, and again, just same thing. So, yeah, we're going to just continue weaving all the way down to the other end. And, um, and pretty soon we will have our glow-in-the-dark, or not glow-in-the-dark, well, this one is glow-in-the-dark, but we'll have our light-up paracord bracelet, and this one glows in the dark. Okay. So I'm done weaving, and um, yeah, I'm down to the end here. Obviously, you don't want to weave uh, too far to the end here because you're going to run into this little tab here, or the uh, snap closure part, and that needs to go into here. So as you can see, it stops right there. Okay, so now, yeah, we're just going to snip and singe, cut off the excess paracord um, using my trusty knife. So again, you don't want to cut too close. Uh, we'll cut right about there. Take my lighter. Okay. 
melt and then I'm going to press it with my tool. All right, and we are done. So this is the uh, the one I did just now with the glow in the dark paracord and the uh, green light up bracelet. Really cool. I like how you can see it through the uh, the back too with this cobra stitch. These look even better in the dark, obviously. And this one is a uh, red and white. Uh, it's modified Solomon stitch over the uh, red light up bracelet. This one's also really really sweet. Now, obviously, again, they look great in the dark. And um, what I did notice doing this different weave, um, it is nice because it shows that plastic band a bit more, so more light peeks through as opposed to this one. But uh, what I did notice was just due to the nature of the weave, I guess the bracelet ends up a little thicker. So as you can see, uh, I can kind of make it out. It's This one actually has a uh, is a bit bigger now. This one became smaller because of the thickness of the paracord. So this one does still fit me, but it is very tight and to the point where it's almost not that comfortable. But of course it would fit a child no problem. So do keep that in mind. Um, if you, Like I said earlier, if you have a thicker wrist and you want to wear one of these, you may have to gut the paracord. So I think this is a pretty cool idea. I came across it on Facebook. And um, yeah, it's just a nice little variation of how to wear a paracord bracelet. And obviously if you wanted... Um, you know the bracelet to be as bright as possible you wouldn't put paracord over it because it just obscures more of the light but i think this is um it's really neat it's a different way of wearing paracord bracelet and something really special if you're you know going to even if you're just going camping at night or if you're going to or even a concert or something that'd be pretty cool to wear all right so that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more paracord videos thanks bye